how do i handle my own evolution first of all you need to see that i don't evolve just like i said remove the i from here i is absolute or you can say that there is no i at all so the evolution is happening there is no agency there which can handle it it handles itself this basic ignorance should be cleared first that there is somebody who can manage the evolution no the whole does it and it does it in the most optimal way most efficient way possible sometimes there is a desire that appears there that i need to do something to speed up the evolution and that is also a perfect desire in, in a perfect way which has appeared there and it will lead to some action or some corrections which will speed up the evolution again the individual never does anything because it's not there there is no doer so the recommended method to handle the evolution is to leave it as it is don't try to meddle with it if something needs to happen something needs to be corrected there will be desire to do it and it does not matter how strong the resistance is slowly the whole structure will move towards this de- this desire and it will be finished and the next step will be taken this is how it works we are the driven we are not the drivers as humans humans have no power they are the external appearance of the iceberg like the iceberg is 90% in the water invisible so the humans are like that we don't know what is hidden and so this evolution is mostly from uh, that level which is not apparent we can see the effects of that we do not see the causes of that and we cannot cause it now this answer will not going to satisfy many people especially on this the spiritual people they don't like this answer you mean i'm supposed to do nothing for the rest of my life should i just sit and watch remember the i is again here remember to drop the i when you speak about evolution and things like this when you speak on any spiritual topic yes there is only the witness the witness can only watch it cannot do anything it does not do anything and it it has no wants to do anything the want appears in front of it and the will or this desire then drives the whole structure the body mind structure in specific direction and we i mean not we the experiencer simply witnesses so even if you say that i will do something it is okay and if you say that i'll just sit and watch is okay they amount to the same thing that which happens is necessary will be manifested it does not matter what kind of thoughts appear in the mind what happens will happen if a thought appears that i have done it i speeded up my evolution is perfectly okay if some other thought appears like i am just sitting and watching it happens it is also okay the both amount to nothing only that the the second thought is more equanimous is coming more from awareness and the first one is coming more from seeker's perspective that i am doing something however most of us will not be satisfied by this because their energy to seek is too much so for them a false answer is given and the false answer is as follows it is just like a medicine you see you give a medicine placebo kind of medicine to those who cannot uh, be in this equanimous state and the answer is very simple if you want to handle your own evolution first thing you need to do is get a teacher the teacher needs to be the most irritating kind of teacher in the universe and that kind of person will tell you all your faults you're not good at this you're not good at you talk like this and you think like this that is the fastest way that i have seen so far in my experience if you get somebody who simply says that you are great you are experiencer you are the whole existence you are brahman now sit down there and do nothing probably you won't progress very fast so i gave you the key <laughs> get somebody who is expert in finding your faults who tells you that you are at a lower level than expected and obviously somebody who is at a lower level than you will not be able to tell you but it is amazing sometimes you see people are good at fault finding the faults so for a householder the best thing is to get into a relation and your partner your children your mother father they will become your gurus they will become your teachers listen to them carefully how they criticize how they find faults how they react to your i won't say wrong behavior it's not optimal behavior they will speed up your evolution we evolve here simply by 
making relations if you are not in a society then you need a guru and the guru must be the strictest possible if not if you if you are not fortunate enough to get that kind of very irritating guru then use your intelligence use your intellect do the self evaluation and the good news is that i have already produced about 6 or 7 videos about self evaluation i have actually done that before they are in the form of articles and some podcasts but uh, the latest one is more organized and in small parts 20 minute parts where we go through all the categories of uh, evolution all the levels of evolution and uh, we have used some parameters to self evaluate those with uh, a good amount of intelligence can do it themselves they can just like a doctor can check himself you know for the symptoms treat himself with the med- medicine because he is a doctor he has the skill and intelligence so a, a doctor is like a guru you see if you are a patient you go to the doctor similarly if you want to, to handle your evolution you go to a guru the better the medicine the faster is the effect but, uh, if you are a doctor like you have this powerful intellect you can evaluate your own progress and go and watch the self evaluation parts there there are i'm still producing them and they, they'll be finished in one or two weeks probably hopefully and i made them a part of our program so that you get that skill the program is going to be very complete you need to be able to evaluate yourself and you uh, should be able to evaluate others if there is a need because the program will turn you into a teacher eventually so i don't think everybody from the program is here but please if you are listening to the recording this is highly recommended although i keep saying that you can drop at the at the episode number 20 you can drop out i keep saying it but highly recommended to go through the whole of it you will never find anything better than this whole and complete so this is one way to handle the uh, evolution self evaluate find out at which level of evolution you are and try to know what is the next level push yourself to the next level obviously there will be obstacles so, so there are two parts two part videos in which i have discussed probably 50 or 60 kinds of obstacles with possible solutions to them so there is evolution but there are obstacles also because of your past actions past impressions they need to be cleared and if you are skillful you will be able to do it yourself if not you need a teacher you need a guru who is skillful who is, who is experienced experienced like in the field not in terms of bookish knowledge people with bookish knowledge they can only say things they cannot do anything there is another way to handle your evolution and it looks like that i have already told but it is slightly different and that is surrender you surrender with a will to evolve that desire that intent must be very very strong and you can do some rituals to you know keep pouring petrol in that like you keep the fire burning the fire the intent to evolve it it requires a little bit of knowledge especially it requires exposure to somebody who is already more evolved than you and you must have guessed by now that i am talking about the path of surrender or devotion it does not involve worship remember the path of devotion does not involve worship i don't say it so many times because you see you anger a lot of people by saying it they are kind of radical and fundamentalist kind of people so you can take out a devotional component from that simply use the surrender that's all and simply use the power of intent to continue there is no need to worship anybody and obviously there is no need to pay money to any institutions there is no need to pray the prayer is actually a, a method of expressing our intent there is nobody who is listening except you because there is no you there is the whole that's all the prayer is an expression of the intent it is not causing anything the causal relation is reversed here so a concession is made for people who don't understand these things and, and they are told to pray in whom there has to be somebody you know because in the social hierarchy the lower person the weaker person prays to a stronger person for food or whatever so you know that metaphor was transferred there in the spiritual world and it was catastrophic people pray to something but that is great and can fulfill all their desires that is the whole corruption that has happened so i never recommend this part but in this series i am recommending it because i have a hope there a small amount of hope that this things will be cleared in 
coming years, probably 50 or 100 or 200 years from now, there will be purification in devotional practices also, hopefully. So we already have two or three ways to handle the evolution and on the path of knowledge, there is again one method which everybody knows. You can speed up your evolution simply by remaining aware, which you will be as soon as you realize who you are. Then this realization shows up as awareness, a state which transcends the four states. It forms a background of all the states and you will find there is a speed up of the evolution. Now do not assume that I am aware or I am doing it. Obviously, you cannot assume that. If you assume that, you are already unaware. You are already in ignorance. That is the sign of ignorance. That is the sign that you have realized nothing at all. So a good way to say it is there is awareness now instead of darkness and a bad way to say that it is that I am aware and I am speeding up my evolution. That, that is what an ignorant person will say. Sometimes I also say it because that is what people will understand. Because there is a kind of blockage there. There is a kind of ignorance or a belief in ordinary minds that I need to do something in order for something to happen. What do I need to do to be aware? You know, that is the question that I get a lot. You told me to remain aware because there, there's a work that you have given me. It's a new job that I have which pays nothing. Tell me how to do it. Here is the limitation of the language that because the instruction was formed like a job to be done, it was taken as a, an action to be done done and then now the person is demanding a method to remain aware. So we try to you know correct it. I use the words like remembrance and all you see to, to make you understand that it is not an action. It is simply being what you are and if you forget, if you slip, you can remember it again you see. It is like staying awake, being in your true nature all the time. Sometimes there will be activity, sometimes there will be strong activity, it's all okay come back to where you are. So it involves non-doing, it does not involve doing. And we have talked about it a lot, so I'm not going to repeat it again. Go and listen to all the past meetings, probably it appears in every other meeting. And you will find that there is a miracle that happens, it speeds up the evolution. You don't even need to do the self-evaluation or things like this. Your evaluation is always in front of you. Your blockages and your resistances are apparent. They are already in front of you, clearly visible. So on the path of knowledge, we handle the evolution by not doing anything. It is, it is basically magic. It is the most direct thing that I've found. Yes, there are brute form, force methods of doing it, you see. And there are methods where other entities and other people are involved. There are ways in which the whole group, the collective mind, the group mind gets a push from each other. And there are more exotic ways, you see. The whole greater mind sometimes creates a whole universe in which conditions are provided for evolution. And you can suspect that we are in such arrangement right now. We are in a school where evolution is very fast. We are fortunate. If you find suffering in one of the universes, you can simply conclude logically that it is meant for evolving, it is not meant for experiencing. And we find a lot of suffering here. So the conclusion is that we are evolving very fast even without doing anything. So pick any method to handle it or just let it happen by itself. It's all okay because it's happening by itself anyway and remain aware all the time and evolution will take care of itself. There's no need to worry too much about it. Sometimes I call it uh, floating in the river, flowing with the river. Or there is even a better uh, metaphor which is riding in a train. Now you are in a train, you are sitting there quietly, nicely watching the scenery from the window and now somebody tells you that look, we are going at a speed of let us say 120 kilometers per hour but there is a way to speed it up to 200 kilometers per hour and then we will reach the other station very quickly and that fellow disappears after saying this and you are now worried how how to go there faster and you find a device that you know gives you this control over the train and it is a fake device the train is going at its own speed it is carrying you at a very high speed already but you keep worrying that I'm not going faster, I need to go fast and then you push some buttons and so on, you see. Sometimes the driver of the train will speed it up by his own will. He finds a clear track and then speeds up. And you will simply say, oh look what I what I have done here, 
is that I have caused the train to speed up. And this is the condition of many ignorant people. Things happen, they say, I did it. The train is going already. The train will speed up whenever it wants to speed up. Just relax and watch. In the early days, I used to give this trick bet. You don't do anything for your evolution. Just ensure that you don't fall back. Don't do anything which like uh, destroys your, your current progress. That's, that's, what, that's what I was doing. So don't fall back. Don't go backwards. That, that was my formula. And the train is already taking you forward. So that is the only mistake we can do that we can fall. We can go backwards. And if you ensure that you do, you are not going backwards, then there is no other way but to go forward. You are already in a boat that the river is taking you. The river is carrying you. Just don't start rowing in the opposite direction and you will be fine. So that is the lazy way to evolve. How do we, how do we know that uh, we are going backwards? How can we find out that I am not going with the flow? There is a resistance there which is taking me away from the speeding river, the current. And it is very easy if you are resisting, if you are struggling, if you are suffering, if you are always sad and confused and fearful and angry and you are doing same things to others also, you are making them sad, fearful and angry, then obviously you are retarding, you are devolving. This is the sign of it. Some people will say, no, no, this th I am very good, but all these bad things happen to me. It's, it's okay, it's fine. If you're sad because something happened accidentally, or because you're about to die next week somehow because of a disease and all, it's not devolution. It is perfectly okay. It is evolution only. Because you are not doing it. You are simply, you can say, experiencing that situation. I won't call it a victim of situation. There is no such thing. It is all our doing. So you find in, sometimes you find yourself in situations where it looks like it is suffering. It is perfectly okay. Just learn from it. Don't blame people or something else or yourself for it. So turn it into an opportunity. The obstacle is the path. The resistance is the opportunity. The suffering is also grace.